This is my short trip and flight friendly essential toiletry kit or DOP kit and I can't travel without it. Let's have a closer look. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for man. Hi, my name is Jonathan and welcome back to the channel. Okay, the first thing I should point out about this kit is that it's primarily for short trips of say up to a week where size and weight is an issue. And I'm always trying to reduce the size and weight as much as possible on a pack I have to carry for any length of time. So overnight city trips, for example, where I might find myself walking a lot from place to place and jump in on and off public transport. This is also great for hand luggage only flights, which, as we all know, already come with specific restrictions on size and weight and also limits on liquids and other items. This is a minimal kit, so it's not all I would take if I was on, say, a two week holiday or vacation with 23 kilos or 50 pounds of luggage to play with, especially if I'm simply dragging a large wheelie bag from the car park to the check in desk and then from the luggage carousel to a taxi. I would no doubt take more than this in my checked in luggage, but importantly, I would take this as well in my hand luggage. And the reason for that is I have on several occasions arrived at my destination when my luggage has not. So having a few days of essential toiletries with you whilst your luggage tries to catch you up can be a real lifesaver. So in short, this kit is one I take with me every time I travel. One last thing to mention before we get into it is that everyone is different and has different requirements. So this is really tailored to my needs, but hopefully it will have some ideas that work for you too. In my case, I'm a man, no surprise there. I hope at least and one without hair. And no doubt you would say closer to old man than new man. So with all that factored in, that means no shampoo, no conditioner, no hair gels, no face creams, no moisturizer, no beard oil, no hairbrush or comb or makeup or makeup remover or any other lotions and potions. So this is pretty basic stuff, but when it comes to essential toiletries, it's it's all I really need. Okay, let's first look at the bag I'm using. Now, most dedicated toiletry bags or dot bags are for all that stuff I've just mentioned, which I don't really carry and consequently are way too big for me. So I don't generally look at a dedicated toiletry bag, but at a bag that has the simple features I need at the size I want. This pouch is from a company called Alpaca who makes some great travel gear and this is called the Zip Pouch Max and I purchased this directly from the Alpaca website. It has one main pocket and two side pockets. And inside the main pocket we have a little bit of separation in here but not a lot of internal organization and I actually prefer that. I've come to realize that you can have too much organization in a pack that you use often and you can spend way too much time trying to get everything back in its right place when really all you want to do is just grab your gear, drop it in and go. And just to clarify, this is a different approach to a pack used infrequently for emergencies such as my travel get me out of trouble kit. In that case, you're trying to get all the contents in a small space with quick and easy access of usually only one item at a time. So in that case, a tightly organized pack is a good option. And if you want to see that pack and some other packs, I'll provide a link at the end of this video. Oh, and if you want to find out more about anything mentioned in this video I will include links in the description below. This pack is made from X-Pack material. This diamond pattern is a signature of X-Pack which was originally designed as a high performance sail cloth. It's lightweight, it's super strong and is waterproof. In fact it's way overkill for a toiletry bag but in my view that's no bad thing as long as the weight is kept under control and on the inside we have a bright orange ripstop nylon interior which makes the contents much more visible. This pack has YKK quality AquaGuard zippers all round which normally helps to keep water out and in this case importantly also helps to keep spills in. 
It's very lightweight at 95 grams, which is 3.4 ounces, and it costs $49. And if that sounds too steep, I do have a very practical, affordable alternative coming up later in the video. In terms of dimensions, this is 250 mil by 160 by 40 mil, which is 10 inches by 6 inches by 1.5. It holds 1.6 litres, which is 55 fluid ounces. And the good news is, because we've got this narrow base here, this pack can be free standing. And that's good if you are in some accommodation where the bathroom has no shelving or very little space and you need to sit this on, say, a very narrow sink. And the other good news is because it's X-Pack, it will keep the water out as well and keep the contents dry. This pack actually comes with a strap because it was originally designed as a mini sling. And that can be useful in this case as well because you can attach the strap and you could use it to hang it up in the bathroom. But I have a different solution, which I prefer which is this. This is a hero clip and it's designed exactly for hanging bags up. This is the smallest they do. It's called the Mini. It opens like this. This part can hook on a shelf or a table and this is a carabiner style clip that you can clip onto your bag. So in this case, I can easily hook it onto, say, the zip and hang the bag up, and that could be on a shelf, or it could be on the edge of the sink, or it could be a towel rail or shower rail. So you've got lots of different options for hanging up this toiletry kit. You could also choose to clip it onto the strap loop there and use it in that way. I've also got a larger hero clip, which I always carry with my backpack. That allows me to hang my backpack, say, on the edge of a table when I'm having something to eat. And that way I know I've got my bag close by. And also it keeps it off the ground and helps to keep it from getting dirty. So if you've not seen them before, check out the hero clip. Really practical. They come in lots of different sizes and colours. And if you want to learn more about these, I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, that's an overview of the bag itself. Now let's have a look at the contents. First item on the list is shower gel. This is an essential for me. Obviously, I want to avoid big and heavy bottles. My go-to shower gel is from a company called Molten Brown. And the good news is they now have refill bags, which is perfect for use with this refillable travel bottle. This is from a company called Matador, who make some great travel accessories. And this is called their flat pack refillable bottle. It's only 11 grams in weight, which is less than half an ounce. And it's easily refillable by unscrewing this cap here to give you a nice wide open neck to pour the contents in. And then it flips up to dispense the content and you can hang it up in the shower with this loop here. It packs flat when you use it, it actually gets flatter. So it's not rigid like some of the other bottles out there. And it's a lot more lightweight and compact than the silicon bottles on the market. So for me, this is a great option. Then I have deodorant. I prefer to use a deodorant stick. It's more environmentally friendly than an aerosol. And unlike an aerosol, it doesn't count as a liquid if you've got it in your hand luggage on a flight. It lasts for ages and it's under 100 grams, so it's quite lightweight. That's under 3.3 ounces and it doesn't leak. Then we have toothpaste. That's an easy one. There are loads of travel size toothpaste tubes available. Again, these will last easily a week or more. And that makes sense to carry a travel size version. And when it comes to a toothbrush, I prefer a folding toothbrush. I find the fact that the head folds it into the handle means that you don't get toothpaste dribble on the rest of your gear. I use an electric toothbrush at home and I take that with me when I travel for a vacation or a holiday or when I've got checked in luggage. Uh, but for short trips, this is great because it's compact and lightweight and doesn't require charging. Having just mentioned charging, 
I use this which may seem like a contradiction because it needs charging and it might seem more sensible when it comes to shaving to carry a wet safety razor. Obviously they are compact and very lightweight. However, this one blade system from Philips is quite unique. The razor itself is under 100 grams, which is under 3.5 ounces. So it is actually quite lightweight. The other thing you might not expect is that it shaves very close just like a wet razor and it doesn't require shaving foam or gel or running water to use it so you can use this anywhere it's also very safe to use I've never had it give me a nick and it's very effective on any length of hair or body hair and it can be used with different guys if you want to keep a beard trim or just leave stubble the blade is double sided so it can be used in both directions and speed up the shaving process and it can create a very sharp and precision line if that's your thing. It has replaceable blades. Each one can last for several months of regular use. It comes with a dedicated charger which plugs into a shaving socket and it charges in about four hours and lasts for about 60 minutes which can easily be a week or more on a single charge so it's very compact and lightweight and multifunctional so check it out if you've not seen it before and i'll put a link in the description below and if you do need to take this charger with you it only weighs 40 grams which is 1.4 ounces so it's extremely lightweight as well I also carry some cologne or aftershave as well. As you'd expect, I'm not going to carry a big heavy glass bottle, so I use this. And this allows me to carry up to 10 mil of aftershave in a very compact atomizer. It took a lot of searching on Amazon to find this particular one, and there are loads to choose from. This feels particularly good quality it's matte black which i like and this case protects the glass inside without adding too much to the bulk as you can see you twist it to gain access to the spray head and when it's recessed that spray head is actually locked and won't press at all it only weighs 34 grams which is 1.2 ounces and it comes with a small funnel and a spray filler attachment and spare o rings and is very easy to fill. So a great solution, I think, for carrying some aftershave in a very compact form. I also carry some nail clippers. Not a lot to say about these other than they're very useful to have with you. In the zip pocket here, I have some essential meds. We're talking things like pain relief, allergy relief, indigestion relief, diarrhea relief. In fact, you'll be very relieved you've got these with you. I also carry some specific blood pressure meds to stop me exploding. In the other pocket, I carry the Hero Clip I've mentioned before. And I also carry a very basic first aid kit. This is really just antiseptic wipes and plasters of different sizes. Also in here, I've got some Aquatab tablets. So if you're not confident in the water, at your destination you can pop in one of those and that makes it drinkable and you'll notice i'm using these mylar ziploc bags i prefer these to the more common polythene bags so a little bit better quality a little bit thicker and a little bit stiffer so they slide in and out of your pack more easily i've also got here some q-tips and also some floss sticks and depending where you're going you might need some sun cream so i will carry something like this this is 50 SPF so it can be used as sunblock. It's a cream which I prefer and it's only 50 mil. Okay so what if we're about to jump on a plane would this setup still work? Well let's quickly recap the rules. As you might remember liquids need to be in a see-through bag and separated from your main bag when going through security and this bag needs to be a maximum of one litre capacity which in the US is one quart. And in terms of size, it needs to be 200 mil by 200 mil, which is roughly eight inches square. The maximum liquid allowance for a single item is 100 mil or 3.4 fluid ounces. And the items should fit inside the bag so it can be closed and you are only allowed one bag per traveler. Liquids include gels, creams, aerosols, pastes, cosmetics, and even things like jam. 
the only exceptions are for medical purposes or special dietary requirements or for baby milk. In this setup, the Matador flat pack with the shower gel is only 90 mil and TSA approved, so that's fine. The deodorant doesn't count as a liquid. The sun cream is only 50 mil and the toothpaste only 25 mil and the uh, aftershave is only small volume as well. So all those are fine to carry in your hand luggage as long as they are kept in that separate bag. So when it comes to that bag to put your liquids in, I use one of these. So this is a bag that is designed exactly for this purpose. And although you might want to use a basic polythene Ziploc bag, I really like this option. This is thicker and leak proof with a triple Ziploc seal here. It only weighs 40 grams or 1.4 ounces. The seams, as you can see, are really thick. This will not break or tear and it's made from a biodegradable alternative to PVC, which is just a much nicer material. So all I need to do is to carry this in the bag and it fits. And I now have a setup that means I can jump on a plane without having to repack or rethink or change or remove any items. And at the start of this video, I mentioned a low cost carry option and this is it. I've been so impressed with the quality of these bags that these could easily double up as a basic leak proof lightweight toiletry bag. And to make it even more practical, you could split the contents across two bags like this. So you now have one to hand with liquids in so you can get through security quickly and easily. If you've enjoyed this video, you might be interested in some of my other packs, in which case just click the link here. Thank you as always for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.